Hi guys, welcome to another wonderful course of uh, MrLopezClasses.com. This is the course of uh, marine corrosion. This is, in my opinion, one of uh, the fundamentals, the support of uh, this program, the marine engineering program. If you want to be a successful surveyor, inspector, marine engineer, manager of a shipyard, you need to know about corrosion. The life of the boat depends on the process of corrosion and how to avoid that uh, my boat be corroded. Because uh, in general, the corrosion, the corrosion starts in the boat because the boat, the boat is improperly wiring, because uh, the boat is improperly bonded, because the boat is improperly grounded, and additionally, because the boat is improperly protected, the, the selection of the sacrificial anodes is not good, and uh, the installation of uh, the galvanic uh, isolator is not appropriate, or no galvanic isolator. And also because uh, my boat is located with a neighbor with uh, too much leaks of current, other boats with too much leaks of current or because my boat is connected to the shore power in a place with a bad ground and through the ground bad currents enter and affect my boat and because the water is a, is a water with a bad conditions extreme salinity alkalinity acidity and those factors affect the process of corrosion in my boat. Yes, my friend, for that reason, we are going to uh, we are going to study the process of corrosion and how external factors like uh, the water, the temperature, the selection of the sacrificial anodes, the the ground of the marina, the leaks of current in other neighbor boats can affect my boat. And at the end of the day my boat will be corroded. But uh, we can't avoid the, the corrosion. There are a lot of techniques, a lot of uh, uh, secrets to identify where is the leak of current. How can I avoid, how can I fix it, that situation? Yes. <clears throat> we are going to start in the chapter one with the molecular and chemical theory. Yeah, this is the fundamental. We need to understand the location of the elements in the periodic table and uh, we need to identify where are located the metals and the alloys recommended in the marine environment we need to identify where are the metals appropriated to create excellent alloys in the future for that reason the study of the periodic table is the fundamental we are going to analyze the difference between metals, non-metals, uh, between uh, minerals and metals. Uh, we are going to study the process of oxidation. It's, it's a long process, but uh, it's a nice, nice course. It's a wonderful course. This is the chapter one. We are going to study the molecular theory about uh, uh, the periodic table. And of course, in the chapter two, we are going to start metals and naval alloys. We are going to analyze the different type of alloys recommended in the marine environment and metals appropriated for the marine environment. And uh, in, the pro in the chapter number three, we are going to start with the process of oxidation. Yes, we are going to study in, in, in the next coming uh, episode that the corrosion is basically accumulation of oxidation. For that reason, in chapter three, we are going to start with the process of oxidation. How the oxygen attack the rest of the elements, not only metals, metals, non-metals. Yes, we are going to analyze that the fiberglass can be corroded. Yeah, it's possible when you select a proper hardware. This is the chapter three. Uh, in chapter four, we are going to start the environment. How the environment affect the process of corrosion. The, the environment is vital. What happens if uh, the, the pollution, the ozone, affect the conditions of the area where my boat is living? This is a wonderful, wonderful chapter. We are going to analyze the air, 
and the pollution. This is chapter four. In chapter number five, we are going to start with the process of corrosion and how the corrosion is moving inside of the boat, destroying everything. And how can I prevent that phenomenon of corrosion? It's basically with this cable, with this simple cable, with the bonding. We need to connect all the metals together internally with a central piece of metal and that piece of metal connected externally with the sacrificial anode. This is this, it's a wonderful chapter, the marine corrosion, chapter 5. In chapter 6, yes, we are going to start to analyze the current, how the current accelerates the process of corrosion, and how can we avoid that the current travels through the metals. Yes, yes, this is a wonderful chapter. How the current AC and DC accelerate the process of corrosion and some tips and techniques to identify where are those leaks located. That's the chapter 6. In chapter 7, we are going to study focus it, the different type of corrosion, specific in marine environment. We are going to study uh, the peeling corrosion, a crevice corrosion, filiform corrosion, different, different types of corrosion. Okay, and we are going to analyze where, where is commonly found in each type of corrosion. This is chapter 7. In chapter 8, we are going to analyze how the hull can be corroded, hull corrosion. And uh, yes, we are going to analyze depending of uh, the metal, the metal of uh, the hull, and uh, depending of the type of water, what is the sacrificial anode recommended in particular for that type of boat. Yes, we are, we are going to study this wonderful poster. You found it, that poster in, in my web page. Uh, in, in that poster uh, is the summary of uh, the different type of sacrificial anodes uh, according with the, the material of the hull and the type of water. And uh, what type of uh, hardware is recommended for that specific boat. This is a nice, nice poster. You can buy that poster in, in this page www.mrlopezclasset.com and you select the option posters and you buy the poster. This is chapter A. How the hall is corroded. In chapter 9 uh, it's wonderful. It's a uh, coding, coding protection and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and corrosion uh, protection. Uh, and we are going to study another wonderful poster. That poster. In that poster we have marine alloys. Uh, ferrous alloys and non-ferrous alloys and we are going to analyze the different type of alloys recommended for the marine environment. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is a complete course. Uh, yes, this course is a, is a great complement uh, if you are interested to take uh, in the United States the ABYC corrosion certification. This is a great, great complement uh, to study for the ABYC uh, certification. And uh, once again, this is a great course for, for uh, surveyors, for engineers, for inspectors. Um, if you are interested to know about the process of corrosion with more details, um, I recommend this course. I hope you enjoy this course exactly the same like I enjoy prepare that course for you.